Hello everyone, I'm James with Hobby King Live, back with another product profile, and this week we're uh, doing product profile on a product that was released back in November, but uh, we were dying to get a product profile out to you guys. This is the Hobby King Waco SRE biplane. So this is an ARF build, which means you're not going to get any of the electronics, none of the servos, uh, none of the motors. So that stuff we'll talk about later in the video as far as getting it set up. But uh, as far as ARFs go, it is pretty easy to assemble. As you'll see later in this video, when we take you back to the studio, we'll go over some of that process. But what we want to do first, as always with product profiles, is get you out to the field and show you a full flight on this plane. So we had our pilot Alex Davis take it up, and here's how we did it. Taking off on the Hobby King Waco, 1300 millimeter. She gets right off the ground. No problem. Now today we're running this thing on a 3003S. Again, this is an R build, so some of the components you have leeway with. You could go from 850 kV to 1200 kV motor. 3536 fits just right. And as you see, just a steady fly. It comes in for a nice scale pass. That's pretty much what you're going to want to do with this bad bird. Nice and easy flyer. More like a trainer plane than anything else, but it can do some aerobatics. Our pilot always does aerobatics anyway, because he has to test it out. Nice big loop. That prop on there sounds beautiful. It really shows up nicely in the sky. Going up for a stall turn. Perfect. He's gonna come right by. Nice and quiet. I'm a nice roll across yeah. the camera. Do it on the next pass. On the next pass. Beautiful. Can't see you not getting enjoyment out of a plane like this. Pilot Alex, you like to do crazy stuff, but you love this plane. It's great. Super good slow flying characteristics, especially. Just want to relax. You don't want to have to worry too much if you're flying. And with that beautiful cabin inside, I bet you could put yourself a nice FPV. Pan and tilt in there. And really add. So that's the power when you when you punch it. It's good. I'll do a uh, up one. That's more power than you'll ever need. Yeah, <laughs> way too much power already. That's the beauty. Sometimes we get that people complain that looks too powerful. Well, just lower the throttle, I guess. But it's there if you need it. Beautiful. It was such a gorgeous day here in New York. We got a lot of people at the flight line today, but they're letting this they're letting us put this bad boy up all by itself so that you, the viewer, can make up your own opinion. That's the purpose of this. We show you the sticks, we show you a full flight of the plane. There's a touch and go. There's a touch and go. And then we hope you make your own decision. These are unedited product profiles you get from us. We just use multiple cameras in case one of us is out of focus or one of us had a better angle of the maneuvers that our pilot's doing. But these are designed for you to get the most out of them. Helps me for sure watching our pilot's stick movements. Just helps you retain that information a little better. You'd say you'll probably be able to, on a 3003S, you'll easily be able to stay up in the air for about six minutes, maybe more. Especially if you're only going scale flying, you'd probably be able to stay up for 10. Oh yeah. If you never punch the throttle. 
just got a beautiful day. We got a nice 12 by 6 wooden prop on there. It sounds nice. We got a touch and go. Touch and go. More nice. Wheelie. I feel like this is a model I'd love to put floats on. Yeah. Wow. Can you make a rudder turn? Yeah. Just try to keep it level. Show you how that rudder... I always love doing these with cubs and trainers. Play with the rudder. Nice. So if you really want to keep this in a small confined space, you have that ability too. It's so docile. And inverted? Did we do inverted yet? We can try. Nice. I think that about does it, yeah. Alex. So you're not much landing. more to show. Let's show him a nice scale landing. Do a pass and yeah. then we'll come into the wind. Right now you're coming downwind. You're coming downwind. The last pass. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring her home for a landing. Landing. As always, Alex, pleasure flying with you, sir. And there you have it. Alex Davis put this thing through its paces, and you saw she flew really, really well. So now let's take you back in time a little bit to when we first unboxed this ARF. We're going to go through everything now that you will get uh, in your kit when it comes to you. Again, you're going to get all your hardware, all your screws, nuts, bolts, everything you need uh, to put this plane together. And as far as the big pieces as they come, the fuselage, as you'll see when you pull it out of the box, is covered beautifully. Uh, the wrapping on this model, this is the type of model that every time we take it to the field, it seems to be the one that gets a little crowd around it. A lot of the guys at the clubs really appreciate just how beautiful and how scale it looks. The cowl is nice. You get your two lower wing sections, you get your two upper wing sections. Obviously you have your elevator and your vertical tail assemblies, your motor mount. your landing gear and wheel pants, and again, all of it looks beautiful. As far as the build, guys, you do have a lot of steps in the manual, but the manual is very thorough. They give you a nice picture of what's going on step by step and give you a pretty good idea of what you're going to be doing. If you've built ready-to-fly models in the past uh, you, and you know how a plane is supposed to go together, then uh, you should find reading these instructions to be very simple. And again, it'll go together pretty much step by step. But some of the keys and some of the things that uh, my CS team, as they were helping me, I would ask them questions if I had them on how to build it. Uh, some of the trickier points to this, one was you will have to cut some holes out for your wing struts, you're going to have to cut some holes out uh, on the plane for your carbon spar, and you're going to have to cut in for the servos and such right into the covering, and I was a little scared to do that. I was about to use an X-Acto knife, but then Alex Davis told me uh, some of the best ways to do it is with a soldering iron, actually. So if you have a soldering iron, it, as you can see, uh, it eats away perfectly right at the casing without doing any damage. You just follow the hole lines and you see how beautiful that looks when it's all said and done and it's just a nice little trick to know uh, when you're building an R. 
that's pretty much it for the build. Obviously, we could do an entire video. It would take over an hour uh, if we did it step by step. But if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Uh, I built this model. A lot of the guys in my office saw me build this model, so we'll be able to answer any of your questions as far as the build goes. Now, for components, what we used uh, to fly this plane, as you saw, let's go over that. The recommendations on this plane are a motor between 850 kV and 1200 kV. We went with a 35, 36, 1050 uh, kV aero drive motor. The recommendations are anywhere between a 40 and 60 amp ESC. We went with a Hobby King 50 amp ESC with included BEC. For the rudder and aileron servos, we used two Turnigy 590M Metal Gear servos. And then for the ailerons, we used two Turnigy 113 Metal Gear servos. And then to finish her off, we just used an uh, Aerostar 12x6 propeller, uh, as you see here. And as you guys saw from the uh, flight footage and everything, she flew fantastically. And it definitely had more than enough power. As you saw, Alex Davis was able to pull off some maneuvers you'd never do with a Waco SRE biplane. But with the combination we had, we were able to get her to fly perfectly scale and just do some nice uh, coasting around. Again, guys, I was able to fly this plane. This plane is definitely uh, for a beginner pilot who already knows how to fly. But uh, your basics, you're not going to do anything too crazy with it. And you should get a lot of enjoyment. It is available right now still in all warehouses. There's stock there. It's a gorgeous plane, guys. You're definitely going to have people talking about it when you bring it to the field. We're going to have this down at Joe Nall if you're headed down to Joe Nall. And we're probably probably going to put it up for auction down there, this one that you see on the table. So if you're headed out there, get excited for that. And that's going to wrap it up here for the Waco SRE biplane. Again, available now, guys. Stay tuned. More product profiles, more content coming, and we'll see you next time.